guys yeah this video is supposed to be about blood flow restriction and, and why I use it in my training why am I showing you a old footage from my uh, last prep of, of, of myself rocking back with uh, some heavy dumbbells well um, here's the thing is, is that that's one thing when I go back and I analyze my last contest prep and this is something we do after any season off season on season either one We'll go back, or you, we should anyways, and analyze what went right, what we can work on. And one thing I did really well during my last contest prep was the fact that I was able to maintain most of my strength th throughout my whole diet. I was about 166, 167 pounds there, and I was rocking back with dumbbells that were actually 148 pounds. Those are, those are mislabeled dumbbells, by the way. And was able to hit those for multiple sets of uh, in in the in the lower rep range, and that wasn't too far off from what I was able to do when I was heavier during my off season. So in in most lifts, I kept about 90, 95 percent, actually 95, yeah, 95 percent of my strength on on most lifts. And here's the thing: I think where blood flow restriction came in is that specifically when it comes to my assistance movements it really helped save a lot of uh, the wear and tear for the big prime movers. That's my biggest issue when I diet down to contest levels of, of leanness. It's, it's not so much to the diet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not energy and all that other stuff that most people uh, go through. I, I don't get much of that. My biggest issue is the fact that I'm a really small frame dude. My wrists are about maybe just maybe a bit over six inches in, in circumference. So I'm a really small frame guy, and at this point I'm, I'm decently strong. So um, it, it can be an issue when you know there isn't much fat there to to to, to cushion my to cushion uh, the joints when when lifting heavier uh, heavier weights in the gym. So what blood flow restriction did for me is it's 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 not the only way I train. I I, I do a lot of traditional weight training the, the way you see here. But it's something that, for me, um, has has become a very important tool in, in, in the toolbox. And it's something that I will pull out from time to time. And as I get closer to contest shape and to, to starting my contest diet, I like to bring it in so that I can acclimate uh, to it early on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link you guys up to some articles uh, that really go into more depth about this stuff and from experts who will... will uh, help you out way way more than than I ever could when it comes to talking about how exactly uh, it works and how it should be applied. Uh, but yeah, um, take take a look and it's it's definitely something that again uh, it's not for everyone, but for me it's been a great tool.